Unit 6, Video Lecture 2, Molar Review. If you recall in our first video lecture, we, talk, we talked about moving from Mass Island to Mole Island and from Particle Island to Mole Island. Remember, if we're going to do this, remember if we're going to do this, we need to make sure that we use molar mass if we're traveling to Mass Island or to Mole Island. If we're traveling between Particle Island and, and Mole Island, we would use Avogadro's number. Remember, Avogadro's number is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd in one mole. And molar mass is always some sort of relationship where we have some number of grams equal to one mole. Molar mass is unique for our substance, while Avogadro's number is always. And either way, we are all still going to one mole of a substance. So with our map the way it is already, we can add a third island, and this is Volume Island. And to travel to, mol to Volume Island, we're going to need to use molar volume. So molar volume is the relationship between the volume, or how much space, one mole of a substance takes up at STP. STP stands for Standard Temperature and Pressure. Our values of STP, our temperature, is 0 degrees Celsius. And our pressure is 1.00 atmospheres. One mole of any gas occupies 22.4 liters of space. And again, this is going to be another one of those always relationships. If we talk about some volumes of different gases, we have oxygen. Oxygen's formula is O2. Remember, our diatomic molecules, iodine, hydrogen, nitrogen, bromine, oxygen, chlorine, and fluorine. These are our diatomic molecules. So oxygen is O2. The volume of one mole of oxygen gas is 22.4 liters. Krypton takes up 22.4 liters if there's one mole. And carbon dioxide, again, takes up 22.4 liters. So let's practice. What is the volume of 6.50 moles of argon gas at STP. Well, what information are we given? We're given 6.50 moles of AR. What do we want? We want mole, or we want the volume of AR. So our map is to start on Mole Island and go to Volume Island. What bridge do we use for that? We use our molar volume bridge. Remember that molar volume is 22.4 liters equals one mole. So I start with my 6.50 moles. I want moles to cancel, so I'll put one mole of argon on the bottom, leaving 22.4 liters of argon on the top. Moles of argon cancel. So 6.5 times 22.4 is 145.6. The 6 is significant, the 5 is the significant, but what about our last trailing zero? Since it's a trailing zero, it needs a decimal point. So that means 6.50 has three significant figures. Our third significant figure is the 5. So we look to the right, and the 6 tells the 5 to become a 6. So our answer is 146 liters of argon. How many moles of CO2 gas are there in 16.9 liters of the gas? Well, what information are we given? We know that there's 16.9 liters of the gas, and we want moles of the gas. 
So here we're going to start on Volume Island and go to Mole Island. We still use our molar volume relationship. So 22.4 liters equals one mole always. So here I'll start with 16.9 liters of CO2. Since I want liters to cancel, I'll put 22.4 liters on the bottom and one mole on the top. So here I take 16.9 divided by 22.4 and I get 0 0.75446, etc. 16.9 has three significant figures. 0 0.755 moles of CO2. If you'd like to practice more molar volume conversions, click the link. If not, just wait and we'll move on to two-step conversions. We can take the mole map now and use it to complete multi-step problems. So we may be starting on Mass Island and we want to figure out how many atoms there is. Well, there's no bridge that connects Mass Island directly to Atom Island. However, we can travel to Mole Island and then to Atom Island. So we're going to need two conversion factors. We'll need to use molar mass as well as Avogadro's number. How many grams does 5.60 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of SiO2 weigh? Well, we're given 5.60 times 10 to the 22 molecules, and we want mass of SiO2. So here we're starting on Molecule Island and want to get to Mass Island. Again, this bridge doesn't exist. So we have to travel to Mole Island. We get from molecule to mole island by using Avogadro's number and get from mole island to mass island using molar mass. So 5.60 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of SiO2. Remember, Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules equals 1 mole. So I'll put 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules on the bottom and one mole of SiO2 on the top. Now, to get the molar mass, we need the mass of silicon plus the mass of two oxygens. If you don't know the, the mass of silicon, let's look it up. Silicon has a mass of 28.09. Oxygen has a mass of 16, giving us a total molar mass of 60.09 grams per mole. So I'll put my one mole on the bottom and my 60.09 grams on the top. So now I'll plug this in. I'll take 5.60, and I'm going to use my second button, press this first, followed by my inverse button. Remember that inverse is going to take the place of my times 10. So 5.60 times 10 to the 22nd times 1 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times 60.09 and I get 5.5897. My third significant figure is the 8. The 9 tells the 8 to become a 9 so I have 5.59 grams of SiO2. How many atoms are there in a 575 gram brick of gold? Well we're given 575 grams and we want how many atoms. So our map, we want to go from Mass Island to Atom Island. 
we can't go there directly, so we have to go through Mole Island. So we'll use molar mass and then Avogadro's number. So we take 575 grams of gold and we need to figure out our molar mass. If you don't recall the mass of gold, let's look it up. The mass of gold is 196.97. So 196.97 grams of gold equals one mole. Well, I want grams to cancel out, so I'm going to put my 196.97 grams on the bottom and my one mole on the top. Grams cancels out. I'm then going to use Avogadro's number, which is still 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms equals one mole. I want moles to cancel out this time, so I'll put one mole of gold on the bottom and 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms on the top. Moles cancels out and I'm left with atoms. So I take my 575 divided by 196.97 and times it by 6.02 using my second inverse function again to take the place of times 10, 23. This gives me 1.75799 times 10 to the 24th. Well, 575 has three significant figures. Five is my third significant figure. I look to the right, and the seven tells the five to become a six. So I have 1.76 times 10 to the 24th atoms of gold. What would the mass be of 15.7 liters of oxygen? Well, we're given 15.7 liters of oxygen. We want the mass of oxygen. So our map is to look to go from volume island to mass island. Since we can't go there directly, we need to go through mole island. So we'll use molar volume and then molar mass. So I start with 15.7 liters of O2. Remember, oxygen is a diatomic molecule. Molar volume is 22.4 liters in one mole. So I want liters to cancel, so I'll put 22.4 liters on the bottom one mole on the top. The molar mass of oxygen, since it's O2, is 2 times 16, giving us a mass of 32.00 grams per mole. Since I want moles to cancel out, I'll put one mole on the bottom, and I'll put 32.00 grams on the top. So I'll take my 15.7 divided by 22.4 times 32, and I get 22.428. 15.7 has three significant figures. So I look here, and we will have about 22.4 grams of oxygen. You can stop the video lecture here, or you can continue on for more practice problems. Additional molar volume conversion problems. 13.7 liters of helium is how many moles? So we start with 13.7 liters of helium. And we're going to use our molar volume. We'll put 22.4 liters of helium on the bottom and one mole of helium on the top. When we take 13.7 divided by 22.4, we get 0 0.611607. 13.7 has three significant figures, and our third significant figure is the first one, there's the second one. So we look to the right and we get 0.612 moles 
of helium. We're still going to use molar volume in our second problem, 2.36 liters of nitrogen. So I want liters to cancel out, so I'm going to put 22.4 liters on the bottom and one mole of nitrogen on the top. So we take 2.36 divided by 22.4 and we get 0 0.105357. We still have three significant figures and our third significant figure is the 5. So we look to the right and the 3 tells the 5 to stay the same. So we have 0 0.105 moles of nitrogen. 0 0.005 moles of krypton is how many liters? We start with our 0 0.005 moles of krypton. And here we want moles to cancel. So I'm going to put my 1 mole of krypton on the bottom and 22.4 liters of krypton on the top. So 0 0.005 times 22.4 gives us 0 0.112. Well, 0 0.005 only has one significant figure. All of our zeros are leading zeros. And leading zeros are never significant. So our first significant figure is the 1. We look to the right, and the 1 tells it to stay the same. So I have 0 0.1 liters of krypton. 0 0.500 moles of chlorine. I want moles to cancel out again, so I'm going to put it on the bottom. And I'll put my 22.4 liters of chlorine on the top. So 0 0.500 times 22.4 is 11.2. In this case, I have three significant figures because this is a trailing zero with a decimal. So I have three significant figures, so my answer is 11.2 liters of chlorine. Additional multi-step conversion problems. With 0.25 grams of sodium hydroxide wanting to go to moles, we're starting on Mass Island, and we want to, well, let's not do moles, let's do formula units. So, I want to go from Mass Island to formula units, which is on Particle Island. Well, I can't go there directly. But I can go to Mole Island and then to Formula Unit Island. So I'll start with 0 0.25 grams of sodium hydroxide. Well, we're going to need to figure out the formula. Sodium is a positive 1. Hydroxide is a negative 1. So we crisscross, drop the signs, and reduce. So now I need the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Sodium has a mass of 22.99. Oxygen has a mass of 16. And hydrogen has a mass of 1.01. .01. So this means the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40.00 grams per mole. Since I want grams to cancel out, I'm going to put 40.0 grams on the bottom, and one mole on the top. To go from moles to formula units, I'm going to use Avogadro's number. So I want one mole to cancel out. So I'll put 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units on the top. So 0.25 divided by 40 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd 
Rounded to two significant figures, I get 3.8 times 10 to the 21st formula units. If I want to find the mass of 6.42 times 10 to the 15th atoms of neon, I'm going to need to go to Mole Island first. So I'll put 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of neon on the bottom and one mole of neon on the top. My next step is to look up the mass, molar mass of neon. Neon has a mass of 20.18. So one mole of neon is 20.18 grams of neon. So 6.42 second E15 divided by 6.02 second E23 times 20.18 gives me a number 2.15208 times 10 to the negative 7th. Well, 6.42 has three significant figures, and my third significant figure is the 5. The 2 tells the 5 to stay the same, so I have 2.15 times 10 to the negative 7th grams of neon. 2.0 liters of carbon dioxide is how many molecules? Well, liters is a volume, and I want to get to molecules. So I go from volume to moles, and then moles to molecules. So 2.0 liters of CO2, I'll use molar volume, 22.4 liters in one mole, and then Avogadro's number. So I'll put one mole on the bottom, and 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms on the top, or sorry, molecules on the top. 2 divided by 22.4 times 6. 02 times 10 to the 23rd gives me 5.375 times 10 to the 22nd. Well, I have two significant figures here, so I'm going to look at the 3. The 7 tells the 3 to become a 4, so 5.4 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of CO2. And lastly, 8.25 times 10 to the 25th atoms of nitrogen. We'll use Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of nitrogen in one mole of nitrogen. Remember, nitrogen's diatomic, that's why we're writing N2s. And then we'll use molar volume, putting one mole of nitrogen on the bottom. So we take 8.25 times 10 to the 25th, divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, times 22.4. This gives us 3069.76. Well, I have three significant figures in 8.25, so my third significant figure is the 6. The 9 tells the 6 to become a 7, so 3,069 rounds to 3,070. Notice, no decimal point. Liters of N2.